In our interview segment, Mr. Chiroma speaks about the efforts to rid the nation's capital of criminal elements and assure residents of their safety. Thank you very much, sir, for allowing Channel Television into your office. You're welcome. Let's take the next few minutes to talk about the security situation, especially in the Federal Capital Territory. Now, you will agree with me, in spite of the efforts of the police, uh, somehow FCT is in the news in the recent past concerning some security developments here and there, such that that caught the attention of the Senate, and they invited you to go and interact with them, the leadership of the Senate, that is. Tell me, how did that meeting went? Well, um, for quite some time, and in fact up to now, security situation within FCT has been stable. However, the certain emerging crimes, such as kidnapping, were recorded one or two in the city center, whom, which I'm sure you are aware uh, victims have been released. And then we recorded um, the kidnap cases in the uh, uh, Kuje area. Uh, matters about the seventh of the month where about nine people were kidnapped. Uh, that brought the area of uh, saying that uh, the FCT is under siege. And that naturally interested the uh, National Assembly and the Senate President convened a meeting, Minister of FCT, the Inspector General and other security chiefs where we analyzed what was going on. I gave them a picture of what really had transpired. Give them a picture of what we were doing to remedy situations. Unfortunately, if we hear kidnap, it becomes the story of the day. But there are other smaller crimes, if you would permit my using that, car theft, one chance that we have around the city. Uh, where are we on those? Car theft. A uh, car theft is something that uh, we've addressed. Even as at the last press conference I gave, I think we displayed almost 19 vehicles that were recovered. Uh, uh, however, um, you see, most of the time, car owners too contribute to the uh, situation, uh, to the worsening situation. You buy a car for one million. It doesn't take you nothing to get 20,000 to buy a pedal lock to lock to secure your vehicle. It is important that you to look after your property. Uh, you also, some of us also just abandon our vehicles on the street and maybe go off into shop, shopping or so without securing, securing these vehicles. It's not that too good. But we are on the trail of uh, car thieves. We are daily apprehending them and arraigning them in court. Uh, we have a special section in the CID that is specifically charged with uh, tracking down car theft syndicates. That is the anti-car theft section. Uh, it is effective. All we want is cooperation of members of the public to also assist us by assisting put security in their own vehicles. The security may not completely ward off the thieves, but it will deter them. In the course of our patrols, when we come around, we'll be able to maybe uh, get uh, the thieves in the act. When the owner is coming back, he too may get the, see the thieves in the act because it will definitely take them time to unlock the pedal lock or whatever, or it uh, handbrake lock. Uh, before removing the vehicle. Anything that would slow the process of stealing. It's important that uh, owners of vehicles assist us do that while we continue on our own part to go after the syndicate and ensure that we bring them to book. Uh, you spoke about one chance. One chance is also an offense that we've, a crime that we've taken seriously within the FCT. Uh, this is an opportunistic crime, so to speak because uh, we take opportunity of people being desperate to get from one destination to another. Uh, when I came on board, what I did was to set up a special unit within my CID. Hitherto, it was just treated generally by the General Investigations Department, but I felt as if 
Yeah, I've had one or two complaints, one too many complaints about uh, uh, one chance. So what was the solution? Set up a special syndicate of people who now have a specialization going after these uh, one chance uh, operators. Their story is a success because they've impounded so many vehicles used in, Cath in, in uh, one chance. They've also been able to bust so many syndicates. Uh, some are presently in custody and some are being uh, prosecuted. Kompol Chiruma, talk to me about this other development that is worrying, that of mob action. I mean, we've seen a few of them around Abuja city. How are you planning to tackle this? Well, uh, we will not allow lawlessness to take its root in Abuja, as I keep on saying it. Mob action is simply lawlessness. What we expect the, power, the members of the public to do is that once they pick up anybody suspected, suspected of having committed a crime, they move him to the closest police station so that we can investigate and determine his culpability. Uh, where we find him wanting or we have enough evidence with which to prosecute him, we take him before appropriate court of justice for, prosecu uh, for prosecution. You recently paraded quite a number of criminals that were apprehended. Yeah. Even this morning, it was part of the conversation that, yes, it's a very good thing that you get police arrest so many people, but the worry is as soon as that parade is gone, you don't get to hear anything. How often do you prosecute these people and how successful have you been? I assure you we prosecute people as um, much as we arrest them. But um, maybe... Uh, the process of prosecution will not be such that you gather 80 people and take them to court at the same time. Each case is, individ is investigated individually. A certain case may take two days, you conclude investigations. Some may take you months before you conclude investigations. Uh, the process of investigation is not just dependent on the police. Sometimes you have to involve other institutions such as banks so on and so forth so you need to communicate with them so that also lengthens the period of some investigations you understand mm -hmm. that uh, therefore you don't get people en mass that you take to court except if it is in, for a particular offense then you get them en mass you take them to court uh, but just as you said uh, maybe we would uh, for every case we are taken to court will also try to get the press to cover it. Let me take you up on this one. Uh, surveillance. I mean, it's very heartwarming. It's very reassuring when uh, citizens see the police around. Some are arguing that the reason why there appears to be an upsurge of crime in the FCT is because your men are not seen in the night as they used to in the past. Do you still have men go on patrols in the night? Ibrahim, I assure you that um, we have high visibility. In fact, it is the backbone of our policy in FCT in fighting crime. We believe in visibility, we believe in being proactive in the fight against crime. We believe in preventing the commission of crime rather than investigating the commission of crime because it is cheaper for you to prevent crime than for you to investigate. Investigating is just like a sinkhole. You keep on putting resources, you don't know where it will stop. But the process of uh, preventing is very simple. You just do your patrols, there's high visibility, uh, so on and so forth, and um, there is it. But I want to assure you that we have enough policemen, both in the night and in the daytime, placed in strategic locations. So you see, we have quite a number of patrol vehicles you see in certain black spots. Um, where maybe you don't have visibility of uh, uniformed policemen, we definitely will have undercover agents. So we'll do both covert and overt operations uh, in the course of crime fighting. Incidentally, you happen to be a commissioner for everybody. I've heard your colleagues in other states say they have a message for criminals. What would be your message to criminals in the FCT? I had already said it earlier on. They should there is no room for them in the FCT. Yes, there is no room for criminals in their city. We will crush them. We will move after them. We will ensure that we bring them to book. I wish you success in your Thank fight. Thank you very much, Brian. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for your mails and tweets as always. Keep sending in your views and comments. 
using the email address and Twitter handle on your screen. Also, be sure to share anything happening within your locality with us. Don't forget, you can view the program on youtube.com forward slash channels web slash videos. Let me thank you once again for watching and wish you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. I'm Ibrahim Adra. See you again next time.